Have you ever wondered how to drag and drop files into a SharePoint list? That's the question that landed on my desk this week. In this scenario, the person had multiple files that they were attaching to each and every list item. Even though it only takes four clicks to attach a file, if you've got multiple files, that can quickly become annoying and very time consuming. But the good news is, is with a little bit of tweaking, you can customize your SharePoint list so that you can drag and drop as many files as you want, and then that will save you a lot Lot of time. To demonstrate, I have navigated to the Microsoft List standalone app and I'm going to use this employee onboarding list that is associated with one of my SharePoint sites. When I open the list, you'll see that it has just a few columns. You can add as many columns as you need for your business process. But the one thing that I would like to point out to start is that the attachments column doesn't always display by default. So first we're going to click on the drop down next to add a column, go to the bottom of the list and select show hide columns. In the pane that opens up on the right, find attachments and put a check mark in the box and then click apply. Now that we have our attachments on the list, we're ready to get started by adding our first list item. So I'm gonna to go to the upper left hand corner and select new. A pane opens up on the right hand side of the screen and this is called a SharePoint form. This is where you're going to add the information that you want. Now I'm going to locate my files on my computer and if you notice when I grab sample 5 and try to drag and drop it into the attachments field, nothing happens. So then what I have to do is click add attachment, find the file, and then click save. In this scenario, we don't want the default behavior of adding attachments one by one. We want to drag and drop multiple attachments. To do that, you will need to use the integrate button at the top of the SharePoint list. When you click on the drop down, you will see power apps. From there, select customize forms. If this is the first time using the integrate option, you may be prompted to verify your credentials for your company. Once done, the Power App Studio will open and a connection between your SharePoint list and Power Apps has been established. Theoretically, all you should have to do is click the save in the upper right hand corner and Power Apps tells your list to enable drag and drop attachments. However, I have noticed that unless I make a change to the list, the Power Apps form does not always become enabled. What I learned is to always make a small change to the form. It could be something as simple as changing the background color. In this example, I chose a light blue. You can also do things like add or remove a field from the form. Once you've made the change that is most appropriate for your scenario, go to the upper left-hand corner and click back to SharePoint. Then click publish to SharePoint. This will synchronize the changes between the SharePoint list and the Power Apps customizations we have just made. Another thing that I've noticed is the connection isn't always instantaneous. So to test it, I click on new and here you see the old SharePoint form. So what I'm gonna do is click F5 to refresh the list a few times and then check again. Now, when I click on new, I know the customization took effect because I can see the light blue background and the attachment box is larger. This time, when I open my file explorer and select the five sample files, I can drag and drop them all at once. Enter any information that is mandatory for your form and then click save at the top. And that is it. You have now used the integrate button to enable the option to drag and drop files into your SharePoint list. I hope you found this video useful. If so, it would help the channel out if you would click the like or subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.